Welcome to the training video for the Bruker Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Machine. Before you start, remove any magnetically sensitive material and log in to the NMR logbook. Double click on the icon on the desktop to open the software. Top Spin 1.3. The Top Spin window will be displayed. Wipe the NMR tube with a piece of tissue paper. and put the spinner in the gauge. Insert the NMR tube into the spinner gently until it is touching the bottom. So, all the way down. If you have a pacemaker in you, you are advised not to go near the magnet. Press the lift button to turn on the gas and walk towards the magnet. Be warned that any mobile phones watches might be affected by the magnet, so be sure to remove them before walking towards the magnet. And while at the magnet, make sure that the gas is on before you load your sample. You can check this by placing your palm right above the cavity of the magnet. Once checked, insert the sample into the magnet cavity. Now walk back to the command center and press the lift button as soon as possible to switch it off. Right now, the sample is locked down in the magnet. When the sample is down in the magnet, the green light is on. Now press the spin button and the sample will start to rotate inside the magnet. Open the lock display window. Type DIR and enter to retrieve the standard file. Look for the standard file STD1H. Select the first option, type new, N-E-W, enter, to create a new data set. Now enter the name, in month, month, date, date, and another four characters of your choice. Experiment number is 1, processing number is always 1. Then select the solvent you are using and choose the current parameter. Type the title. To indicate your sample name and conditions, you can also do it later. Click OK. Type LOCK, L-O-C-K. To select the solvent you are using and click OK. This will take a while to process. We will wait for LOCK finished. Once it's done, the LOCK light is on and will no longer be blinking. So the lock signal will climb up higher on the lock display window. When you see the lock finished, you will see on the lock display lock finished. Then it is time to do shimming. Press the button Z. Adjust the knob by rotating, making sure that the lock signal is going up as high as possible. When the lock signal reaches the ceiling, we need to press the lock gain button. Rotate the knob to move the lock signal down in the display window so that we can see it. Press Z1 and continue to conduct the shimming process. Same thing, move the line up as high as possible and if it goes out of the picture, press lock gain again to decrease the value. And press Z1 to continue the shimming. When the line signals cannot move higher, press Z2 to switch and again, adjust the knob by rotating 
making sure that the lock signal is going up as high as you can. When Z2 is ready, switch back to Z1. And when you realize that both Z1 and Z2 have been optimized until no further improvement, press Standby button. The shipping is now completed. Now, the command RGA. Enter. And wait till RGA finished. When RGA is performed, the instrument is running. And during this time, no other scans can be run. At this time, the instrument is solely focused on determining the RG value. Now, you see RGA finished. Next, we are going to set the number of scans. Type NS to the desired values. If your sample is diluted, set a higher value. If it is concentrated, a lower value. Start the acquisition process by typing Z, G, E, F, P. Enter. As the acquisition process is running, you can see the acquisition information on the box on the bottom right corner. You can see the number of scans having been run and the residual time. And the residual time. When all the scans is run, the acquisition is stopped and the spectrum will show up. You see that the baseline is wavy. Hence, we need to do a phase correction by clicking on the phase correction icon to enter the phase correction sub menu. Click on zero icon and hold the mouse and move up and down until the biggest peak is face corrected. Click on the icon 1 and hold the mouse and push and drag to get the other peaks that are distant from the biggest peak face corrected. When this is done, click on the icon, save and return. In the main menu, expand the spectrum in the region of the peak to be calibrated using the mouse. Press and hold the mouse while dragging it. Click on the icon Calibration to enter the Calibration sub-menu. Position the cursor on top of the reference peak. Click the mouse. A display will be shown on the screen. Now key in the value for the peak. In this case, the solvent we are using is chloroform. So the value is 7.26. Click Full Range. At this time, 
the experiment has finished. If it is still not done, you can type the command HALT, H -A -L -T, to stop the run. Press the LOCK and SPIN button and LIFT buttons to turn on the gas and lift the sample. Proceed to the magnet and remove your sample tube. Come back to the command center and press lift button again to turn off the air. Now, record in the logbook. These are the short summaries for the NMR technique for both sample preparation and NMR analysis. Do practice more to become better at this technique. I'm Fun Man. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.